This is Browns Canyon, and is this Ruby Mountain up here? Or is that Ruby? That one's Ruby Mountain, the one you're aiming at. Okay. at the top and my daughter's gone way up there to see if she could find any of the rubies that we used to find we used to find that what they call it ruby mountain but they're actually garnets and they're still in the rocks so sometimes you can still find them but i'm down here with my little sister trying to find some of the little apache tears let me see if i can get up a scoop and you just shuffle the the dirt hang on okay so I got it down but as you can see there's one right there where that piece of uh, grass is see a piece of grass there's a black one right there there's several in there so you just what do you call it? Sift it out. And, oops. Sorry. My bad. And that is how you find the little Apache tears. All right. Be right back. Bye. And there's where we got to go. And here is where we've been. Oh, well, this is a corner. Sorry. Yep. We're going on our way down now. Then we found these. We don't know what they are, so we just kind of left them alone. Down. We came down the mountain, and now we are at the Arkansas. This is where the kayakers come. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit deeper. There's my daughter walking around on the rocks like, you know. She's agile as a cat. Not like her mother, who falls down every fourth step. So you get to see the river. I don't see anybody coming in a raft. Because this is where they go rafting on the Arkansas. It's going pretty fast. I just love the sound of it though. But way, way down there is where they launch the boats, the rafting boats. Just had a couple before we ever got down in here. So, don't know. the rafters. Tell them to all wave. I told you they'd be along sooner or later. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Today is May 25th, 2021 and this is my 74th floss tube I think. Yep, 74th floss tube. 
It was a day. Oh, let me tell you. From the pictures, you can kind of see what we did. I am so tired. I don't know how I'm still awake. But, yeah, we left the house about a eh, quarter to eight. Maybe about eight o'clock we got where we had to go because it was only like ten minutes away from the house. And then you have to, it's parked in a, there's a parking area that I showed in one of the pictures. And you have to walk up this steep 45 degree hill thing. And then you turn a corner and go a little bit more. And then you're to the next 45 degree angle. Yeah, we stopped a lot on the way up. Yeah, but it was worth it. We got up there, and you saw pictures of her crawling all over the rocks up there. Yeah, she's more brave than I am. I'm just so not the person at all. But it's been kind of a weird week. I mean, I know we went, like, what is today? Today's Tuesday, so last Friday we went out on an adventure. So I, I'm kind of adventured out for the rest of this week. You know, but you just got to get out there. And this was more of a a steep climb. You know, it had there's a path, you know, and it's fairly clear. It might have little tiny rocks, but, you know, I mean, it's not like you have to climb boulders to get to the whole place. And I have forgotten. So I had to sit down on a rock because, there, you know, we weren't hauling the chairs up to 45 degree angle walking things. And you probably climbed, oh, a good thousand plus feet to get up there so yeah I'm still wearing my shirt I just let's just do this guys oh my goodness so I really didn't work on any extracurricular activities I mean as far as you know because you know me I'll, I'll swap out projects like 90 times I worked on two count them one two yeah pretty much consistently off and on all week so we'll get to those first, I think. Um, hang on, got to move a couple of things. And we'll be having our giveaway today. And before I go any further, I just want to thank those that bought me coffee up to this point. How's that? Because I forgot to mention it in the last one. But uh, you are under no obligation to buy me coffee. So don't ever feel that way. It just, it really helps when I go to mail things out and that kind of thing. So I use it. It goes right back into the the, uh, the channel. And I also buy, um, I might buy some counted, you know, like patterns, you know, individual pattern uh, things. Or I might buy, um, what do you call them, pre-stamped with that. So, you know, it, it just helps move everything along. But it is greatly greatly appreciated and you are under no obligation to send me anything ever so but I do appreciate it so this is uh, Mary Jane Fry I believe it's 1861 so I worked on it uh, three or four nights but that Molly's getting up to her perch over here and this is ivory nope is it ivory I don't know if it's ivory or lamb's wool. Um, Joblin, 28 count. Sorry, I don't iron things until I'm done with them. But that's all I've really gotten done. So I started the alphabet and the this. It has an outside border. It goes all the way around. It has this. It goes all the way around. And then there's stuff, you know, like, we'll call it motifs and a little bit of an alphabet. I'll show you the picture. So it's pretty... Uh, negative space so I mean it's not a real dense pattern at all and there's no house yay I just like the little whatever they are they're either ferrets or cats but they're just cute I like them and I may change the the color of them when I get down there I don't know I am using um silky threads for this so I've got let me see if I can grab them three I showed this last week. Three, what do you call it, variegated ones. Whoops, can't see the little brown one. Those colors. And then I have three solids. I don't know how I worked that out. But, uh, yeah. 
So they're kind of terracotta and then a red and then a brown. I just wanted to use all silky, you know, for one project. And like I said, this only had six colors in it. So I was just real thrilled. But that's all I got done all this week. I've just been tired and dreading, you know, having to work a different day and dreading the fact that it's going to get busy. I work for a, a mini mart. What's that? What you call it? Mini mart gas station affair. So we don't do truck rentals or anything like that. We just um, have fuel and then there's some food items inside and you can also get stuff like aspirin or Tylenol and that kind of thing if you needed that kind of drugs or anything. Oh, before I forget, we're using our May month mug. May, month of May mug, if I could just talk today. I'm telling you, it, it just tuckered me out. And then after we got done, we went down. We could walk like where the boat ramp is. That's where the people were on the river that's in this the beginning of this. I just did a quick synopsis, you know, of our trip. And then we went to uh, the thrift store. Found a few things there. Nothing of any great great hoopty. Nothing crafty is what I was going to say. Thank you, Phyllis, for the cups. They're beautiful. I absolutely adore them. And we'll have a new cup next week because it's the 1st of June. Whoa. I have a little rickety table. It's one of those little metal things that you put outside. And it's about that big around. About what? 10 inches maybe across. But it's made out of metal and you can, you can put it with your lawn furniture and stuff. I use it in here because it fits in a small spot. And I usually have it holding my coffee when I'm doing like a... Um, uh, pre-stamped, you know, so I don't have my coffee on my on my table. I just won't do that. So then, oh, Mary Jane Fry, hang on. Where did she go? I was going to tell I think it's Amanda. I'm, I can't remember her name. I have to look. Mary Jane Fry, 1861, by the solitary stitcher Amanda Rowe. Amanda Rowe. So, and I got this free. Mary Jane Fry off of um, Fiber Talk. Is it? No, we talk fiber.com because they were talking about it on Fiber Talk. There you go. Say that three times fast. So the next thing I'm working on is by the Blue Flower and it's Tudor B. And it is done on linen. I'm using the called four threads on it. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten colors in it. And this is 28 count vintage bittersweet linen fabric, and it's from Lakeside. I got it off of a one, two, three stitch. So this is all that I've gotten done on it. So I've about got a corner. We're working into the, the main part where the bee's going to be like right in here. But you have to kind of do this. So there's something like this on all four corners. And yeah, it's cool. So you can see it. But it's real light. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't have a glare. Yeah. So it's not too difficult of a pattern. It just takes me a hot moment on this um, linen. If I were to get more, I would get more of this. This is a lovely color, and this is a great linen. I just got, you know, the smallest piece that I could. It is 13 by 18. So, because this pattern wasn't all that big. So, but I like it. I just wanted, you know, a small project that wasn't something huge, gigantuous, ginormous. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What else did we work on? Let's see. We got the stuff. I did have an order come in. And I worked on... Um, I got three patterns from Everyday E-Craft. And they sent those to me. Gratis. And, yeah. This is what the one I started on. The other two I'm giving away. So we'll have that later. Aren't they cute? They're just so precious. 
I love the way they look, but God, if it flew in front of me, I would just lose it. I mean, and landed like five feet from me, I would just lose it. It's one of those things that I like to look at from a distance. I love the snowy owls. They're so beautiful. So we didn't, whoops, we're losing everything. Everything is coming along here. But we didn't get much done. We worked on the trees. And it has a nice little picture here. Everything coincides here. And on, it comes with a nice booklet. So, and it's here somewhere. Not a booklet. This has a nice plastic thing. It's, it's very durable. As you can see, it's real shiny on the back. But it's almost made of a plastic material. I don't know. I've never seen anything quite like that. But all the, the symbols on this and on here match. So if you're looking for a spot, it's all the same color. So let me put that back in there before we lose it or it gets separated. Every once in a while I have to use it, but this one isn't too big. See, it's not very big at all. Oh, there's my 422. <laughs> yeah, you find the darndest things. But yeah, we just got part of that tree done. That's all I've worked on. I have been tired this week. I don't know what it is. I'm just, I'm done. I'm cooked. And then I don't have to work this weekend. So I am thrilled sick. Just absolutely thrilled sick. I'm off. I have to work tomorrow, but I don't have to work on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. But I do come back on actual Memorial Day. So... Let's see, what else did we work on? Whoops. Well, I'll just show this one and get it out of the way because it's in a biggie bag. Oh, there's the other one I was looking for. And this is not the one I want. This is something else. Something else. Well, phooey. We worked on spring. Oh, let me see if I can get it out. And I've, as you can see from the stitching behind, I've about got that corner done there. I was thinking there's another color in there, but there's like maybe one more. So I'm just kind of following the curvature, and I worked a little bit on it after the video. But I just love this thing. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I got it from Do It Yourself. DIY Digital Art. Man, why is that so hard to say? I'm telling you. I'm gonna get it out of the way because it's kind of big and bulky <sighs> and I don't have a picture of it because I pulled the wrong thing then we worked on the flowers we did get to go to the baseball field this week and do an outside video so I'm um, working on this one and I just call it colorful flowers and we're working right down here it's almost symmetrical but yeah, no, not really. It just has a lot going on. Plus that background, that black background, you have to stitch. Holy cow. But it does have a place where it's all, whoops, divided into six parts if you needed to. I don't know. It helps when you're looking for something. Now, I don't know. I didn't compare these symbols um, to the one on the the pattern so I don't think they match those used to not match but yeah so but it's not too big either I think it's 60 by 60 centimeters yeah so we're down here in the little blue flower that's all let me fold it maybe it'll be easier to hang on to about finished that there's two more colors and then the rest, where it's all yellow, that's all black. But I'd kind of like to sew, like, say, a section and then put the black in for that section and then put the black in for that section. Because it takes a hot moment to stitch all that. I'm sorry. What can I say? Goodness gracious. And let's see. We worked on a little bit on Anna Omen 1873 when we were up at Cash Creek. 
It's such a pretty pattern. And I'm doing four ninety eight, and it is 14 count vintage country mocha. I believe that is from Zweigert, if I'm not mistaken. A beautiful, beautiful um, material. It's nice and soft. It's Ada, and it's 14 count. It, I don't know. I'll put it up real close so you can see it, hopefully. Yeah. It's real soft-ish. It's flat, not like some of the dimensional Ada. Does that make sense? But it, it's really nice to work with. Just gorgeous. So let me take this off here. I just can get it unscrewed. Come on. I love these. These are the best tubes I've ever bought from Amazon. They are just lovely. And you can get everything tight. It has a a groove there that this part fits in, and then you put this screw affair in. Whoop, wrong way. And it'll get it nice and tight and hold the material tight. It won't slip around, you know, like on a bamboo hoop. So we just worked on the top, but I do have that much of it done. So down to right at the bottom of the, the feathers or where it says October, that's the end of one quarter. So it's one quarter almost done. I just have to finish the bird wing there. So, yeah. And then I get to start the alphabet all the way across with the... What do you call it? There isn't a... Like a line border. It's just at the top. And then you have these... That leaf affair that goes down this way, across this way, and then up. So, yeah. Just lovely. Just lovely. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm like, did I tell you it was 498? Is the DMC thread color. I like that red, especially on that. It's bright and vivid. And my next color that I like is 221. It's more of a brick color. But that one's got a little more brightness to it. Just a little more. All right. So I don't need to open that because this all goes in that. The next thing we worked on is Aurora Borealis by um, Maydeer. And I bought this and another one. I can't remember which one it was. I want to say Autumn. Maybe, perhaps not. can't remember. But they're a good company. And it's all packaged like Joy Sunday. So, it's a very good, good pattern and kit. It's 70 by 55, so it's quite large. I think it's the same size as that autumn house. So, it just goes a little bit further. And we're working over here, trying to get a hold of it all, in the trees. And the dark, dark blues, and there's probably a little white because there's snow. Oops dropped it of course you can see there's snow on the trees over there so we're just right in here trying to get that all done there's a rock there so it's mostly I mean most of the pattern colors are blue I would say 50% of them are blue maybe even more like 80% blue but there's the colors so here's your extra colors and then you have a few extra different colors there. But this, these are the majors. That blue in several shades. And then there's some more. So it's like ten different shades, it seems like, of uh, blue. But it's going to be gorgeous when it's done. Just absolutely love it. Oh, and here's some more extras. These are the extras for things. But so, yeah, maybe 50%. And it came with two lovely needles, just like Joy Sunday. So, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this pattern. And when I went, a long time ago, when I was doing diamond painting, all they had this in was a very small diamond painting. And I thought it needed to be at least as big as the cross stitch, if not bigger. 
just to get all the different shades of blue going, I think it would have been lovely. But at that time, I couldn't find it. So, getting a lot of little things. But that, guys, holy cow, is all that I have worked on this week. I just, I feel like I haven't done anything, but I showed you what, eight or ten projects. Some of them are the ones that I do in the morning, and it's just been so screwed up. So this week, we're going to have a better week. Once we get past tomorrow, everything should go like clockwork. And I won't have to work on weekends, and it'll be awesome sauce. So I have no plans. I might, <coughs> I hope to, before the end of this week, make an order at Everyday E-Crafts. And Amazon. I want to buy some more of these uh, things because sometimes I'll give those away as well. And I did find some of those bead pads. So I want to see how those work. And what else? There was something else. I can't remember right now, but I've been looking at a lot of accessory type stuff. You know, that would help us along, you know, beyond, uh, say, a needle. What do you call it? Needle minder? Oh, i got to show you something. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So, when I was at work today, the other day, the boss was pricing these. And I got, I got a half. got a half. Sorry, I hit my thing. Look at these. They're little tiny Altoid boxes. And yes, they have Altoids in them. I'm not a fan, but it's wintergreen, so I can eat it because I'm not real fond of peppermint. But I thought I could take this and put it because I have those magnets that I was using for the um, the needle minders and put a magnet in there and you know take the Altoids out, put the magnet in, glue it in if I have to. And I can put needles in it and keep it with my sewing stuff. Isn't that cool? I just never saw them so small in my entire life. They're about, what is that, two inches? Yeah. Because usually, now the other ones that we have are about like so, maybe. They're pretty big. But yeah, I could have one of those too. But these reminded me of the, and the, the lid flips up. Yeah, it doesn't slide. But my mother, a hundred years ago, used to have a bare aspirin slide. No, I don't. I don't know if it slid or you pushed one side and it opened up. But she kept, you know, so many aspirin or Tylenol or whatever. We had only had Tylenol when I was growing up, plus aspirin. I mean, at the time. But that's what she used it as. It was a little pill box, but it said bare on it. Yeah, but that just I just had to have that. So I bought two. So I might buy some more and put them in with giveaways. You know. So look for those. Then while I was over there I found this is what I found at the uh, thrift store. Isn't that cute? It's just a little tart thing. You could use it as a tiny jello mold. Now you know I picked up two or three others. I don't know where they're at right this second. But I thought if I stuffed it, I could make some kind of little, um, what do you call it, pin cushion thing out of this and glue it down into that and then have it sitting. But I've never seen little copper molds like this. I don't know that it is actually copper, but you know what I mean. It doesn't say anything on the bottom. It's got a little thing there where you could hang it up if you wanted to for like decoration. Some people used to do that. I think we had a fish. We had like, it was copper. And I'm sure it was copper. But it was a salmon, you know, how they, they're shaped like that. Yeah, we had one of those. We never got to use it for anything. I don't think she ever made anything the whole time I was at home. And I found this rooster because I collect roosters because the rooster is my zodiac from the Chinese Zodiac. This is dirty. I just took it out. And it's really heavy. It's made out of solid metal. I don't know what you'd do with it. But I thought he was pretty cool. 
yeah, he was pretty neat. So, and no, it's not magnetic. I just want to make sure. And then they had, I don't know, eight or nine of these. So, but I only got four. So, they are spoons to go with if you're drinking, or drinking, if you're having soup. <coughs> They're like Chinese soup spoons. So, they have like a S shape. And that little spoon rest. They're probably from Borden Barrel, as far as I know. Doesn't say anything on the back. Nothing. But they're all shaped the same, but they have a different handle. So I got one of each. So, yeah, I have four more, but they're smaller. These are really heavy. So I don't know what you would do with them, short of eating some kind of Oriental soup. Maybe. But that, like I said, it, it wasn't a big deal. I think we spent a whole two bucks, maybe, at the thrift store. I just like picking up doodads, but you know that, right? All right, I need to drink coffee. I need a drink of coffee. Oh, my goodness. So, no plans other than to make an order at Amazon. Possibly one, two, three stitch and everyday e crafts so that I will have, you know, patterns to give away all through June. And I think in July I'll be giving away Christmas patterns. So look for that. Um, I don't know if they'll be crossed. Yep, yeah, I'm sorry, crossed. Counted cross stitch or if they'll be pre stamped. So it'll be all in what I can find. Or I may give one of each away. I have no idea. So, for this week, we are, we, you know, Molly and me, she's, she's hiding out. She's over here. She's not talking to me because I didn't take her again today. You know, this has really been in her out of shape, but she wouldn't have wanted to go. There was, number one, there was cactus everywhere, and then the climb itself, I had to stop about eight times. And if my daughter hadn't had a walking stick, I'd have lost it. Yeah, it was it was quite the ordeal. I, I'm pretty much done in. Anyway, we we fell down a rabbit hole. Sorry about that. So, yeah. So this is what we're giving away today, Molly and I. And ooh, stay please, stay. It's so pretty, and it's actually a Christmassy looking one. But it's what we have. It's so pretty. Look at those birds. And all the colors. I just, I love these. They had another pattern. Don't, I don't know that it was Joy Sunday. I was looking at Riolas and Dimensions as well. So, we'll see how that comes out. Because it seems to me they're both counted. But, I could be wrong. Maybe Riolas has printed ones. I'm not sure. I didn't get that far. I was more concerned with what I was doing. So anyway, this one oops, that I'm going to drop everything that I'm giving away today. So everybody that wanted this is put back or put in here. And we are just going to pick one. And the winner for got to put the lid on because heaven knows Laura will spill it. So the winner for this one is Christina Curry. Whoops, if I could just get it there. So, Christina, I will be commenting on your comment. And if you can, and I'll leave my email address there. So, if you can email me your address, and that way I can ship it out tomorrow. And I'll tell you a good one. I have this confession time. Oh, let me put this in here because, you know. Remembering is so not me, but I, I put the name in the bag. So, last week, I don't know what happened. Thursday is usually my day to mail. Well, that was the day that Molly and I drove around, like, four different places, couldn't find any place to video, and we ended up video, videoing where we got. I forgot to go to the post office, and I didn't realize this until Sunday. So... 
for the person that won last week, I mailed it on Monday. I mean, I was there at 8.30 in the morning. I mailed it, and I sent it priority mail, so you should get it by Thursday, at least. It was in the United States, so I'm so sorry. Uh, time last week just totally got away from me, and I don't know what happened. But if whoever, if Christina can get to me tonight uh, at all possible, I will um, try and mail it out tomorrow. Just saying. We're going to try to do this on Wednesdays because I have more time. I don't have to be there until 2. So we're just going to do it, and that way I won't forget. I have no idea what happened. Mickey, I think, won last week. So, Mickey, please accept my apology. I, I'm, I'm deep felt. I was like, oh, are you freaking kidding me? And then when I realized it, it was on Saturday night. The post office only stays open till noon on Saturday. So I had to wait till actually Monday to ship it. But I was there at 8 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully you'll get this by Thursday, maybe Friday the latest. So I'm sorry. Some days, some weeks, just get away from me. So I'm just going to have to get a routine here going. I'm, you think I would be on to this now. So that was that one. So this week, a big crinkling. Hang on. I'm going to be giving away one of the... Uh, oh, I couldn't figure out what it was going to say. Everyday e-craft ones. Look at him and he cute. Look at all the, the green leaves around him. He is just precious. So, if you would like to be entered for this drawing, put the word giraffe in your comment somehow. And I will put you down for, you know, for the drawing for next week. comes with lovely colors and it is it says 48 by 48 so it's not am I upside down or right side up I'm sorry where he is I was like where is the giraffe he's right here so it's a round one and you don't do the outside here you just do the circle what's within that circle and it does have what is it black yeah, it has a black background, and I don't know that it is black. Let me look. It is 310. Nope, it is not. It is 3371, which is like a dark brown, if you will. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So it has 3371. It's the only background, background, deep color. I'm looking because the 310 is mixed in with some of the leaves and stuff. So wherever it's red is 310. But that, uh, if I could just get it out of here. Oh, for pity's sake, that thing is just lighter than light. Hang on. There's an entire bundle. It's like a brown. I don't know if you can tell that that's brown. But that's for the background. It has a lovely, lovely color. Nice and soft. Mm. So, if you would like to be entered for the drawing to win the giraffe, please put the word giraffe in. I'm going to fold it this way, just so it will go back into the plastic. Um, and I ship anywhere in the world. Anywhere. So let me put that over there because it crinkles a lot. So, I ship anywhere in the world, so... Put your name on there. I will ship it wherever it has to go. And, you know, my post office, they know me. So, they get it right out, and I get everything the way it has to be. So, yep. But next week, hopefully, I'll work on some different projects. I just kind of need to keep moving and do different things. I'd like to get back to some of those small ones this next week, maybe. So that maybe, perhaps, I could finish one small one but I'm having such good luck working on that 28 count linen and that Joblin it 
it works just beautifully and it's so easy to stitch you know and they're going to be the size of 14 count so all right guys i think i think that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video before the video it's like the pre-show before the big show hmm. yeah so we had a good time today and run all over the place and we were both about dr dragging i mean we're just like we went and ate, and we both got, like, hamburgers, and we're, like, I felt like a slug coming out of there. I'm, like, got to stay awake, got to stay awake, because, you know, if I lay down, it's going to be two hours. I just know it. It's, like, 2.30 in the afternoon now, so sorry this is so late today, but it is what it is. Got to run with it. All right, guys, thank you for joining me this week. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, hit the bell, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. If we're still doing that, I have no idea. God bless. Bye-bye. See you next time. Keep stitching.